What happened? Um, a lot of shit happened. Like he interviewed me, bro, and then right after he interviewed me, he went and got C Mac. Yeah. And and that was just weird to me, bro. Like him interviewing him right after me, this dude with this tattoo on his forehead, all that weird shit like that. And I'm still new to YouTube at the time, bro. I don't know nothing about what he doing and all this shit. And uh he just started interviewing everybody that he asked about being in an interview, bro. And it just went from there, bro. Then people started sending me all the tweets and all the little videos. You know, I'm the Gilligan Slayer, so, you know, I started yeah. reacting to the videos. And, and, yeah, the Gilligan and the Slayer tweets in the building, bro. nigga. So you feel like, nigga, everybody that you mentioned in your video, he went out and got and just yeah, interviewed Yeah, he too. started a whole... He, he, he started his whole traction in the interviewing, like, L.A. gangbangers off of me. Yeah. Message! Because yeah. right after me, he started doing everybody. And everybody that I talked about on that video, I didn't even know what he was... I didn't know what he was doing. That was like my first real, um, that interview. was like my second interview in my life or something. But, nigga, that uh, shit got like 1.2 million views or something. Nigga, you yeah. going up, nigga. Yeah, I mean, a, yeah. It, it was a cool interview, but it's just a lot of shit started tra transpiring like right Clown, after, bro. It got to stop, family. <laughs> what you know, specifically? Uh, specifically posting that can create an issue. You can put yourself in a predicament where you get back to your family in a box i don't think i, I speaking, don't think that reporters speaking. or jur like should journalists live in fear of the people that they report on I mean, killing I, them or yeah, hurting I, them I, if that's the case don't put yourself in that position you trying to act like adam wants to act like he's some innocent journalist when in reality he is the master instigator my man knows how to start drama like his life depends Crip on mac and you would be a good boxing match I would pay good money for that. Let's talk about your issues with suspect. What would happen if you? <laughs> like, why is he just bringing this shit up? Like, okay, so suspect is somebody that's on his payroll, and him bringing up suspect's name with Swifty Blue was so that they could talk about his chain snatching incident. But like, that's one of your employees. So why are you trying to make your own employee look bad? You ready for a boxing match? Are you fighting him? Boom. So done. Tato at the gas station out here. Nothing. I won't do nothing, Tato. You should fight Jake Paul. Uh, he's good. Cool. I you would like to Jake hear the Paul. YG diss song that you actually like really gave a fuck about. Adam wants all these people to fight when he will not catch a single fade himself. <laughs> it's straight. I mean, see, but I think his whole objective doing that, even with getting you, and then I think after that too was Nina Boy, because I even was like, hey, Nina Boy. No, nah, it was before it. that. It was some Gilligans in Florida. It, it was a lot oh, of people, Oh, yeah, the nigga you were supposed to squabble with the other white boy. Yeah, it was a few of them, bro, that he did that too, bro. Oh, yeah, but yeah. his whole objective, I think, was like, I like new creators, and I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, interview all these new niggas that's coming up, so fuck it, I'm going to interview all of them. And then you just gave mm. the nigga just some ammo to, you know, interview whoever or whatever the case may be. That's, and that was a whole little thing. That's possible. Do know, and bro, I swear to God, I cannot make this up, bro. I've never heard, as long as I know Duno, I've never heard Duno call me the way that he called me. You crying. feel me? He wasn't crying, <laughs> but he was real, bro. He was really worried. Yeah, he was like, bro. That's some real shit. He's like, bro, my people are mad at me. They're saying this. They're saying no jumper is trying to do this, and we twisting up this and all that. He like, AD, woo, woo, woo. That's some shit not to play bro, around. That's some shit not to play with. So I'm like, Oh, uh, I'm like, do no. I'm like, all right, cool, right? So then I hit up Adam. Do no hits up Adam. I swear to God, do no hits up Adam. He says, Adam, I ain't never asked you to ever take down anything. You feel me? He was like, it's getting too political right now. You feel me? Can you please take the post down? I've never asked Adam to not do something ever. Yeah. And the one time I did, it just so happens to fall through the cracks and whatever it is, we were. Adam here. message. No, he'd rather die than take the post down. Fuck. <laughs> That's what Adam said. You so, said that? Yeah, I'm dead, I'm you I'm fucking down. crazy <laughs> motherfucker. No, down. no. But when I seen that, I got mad at Adam now because I'm like, bro, you don't understand that Duno got to still live in the hood, bro. Hell He's, yeah. This is his people, bro. And they're, they're, bro, they getting mad at him for some shit that ain't got nothing and, to do. And I'm going to speak to Adam right now, um, honestly. I don't know you, Adam. But since um, AD speaks, speaks well of you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. But I'm going to be honest with you also and tell you what you look like. You look like the white man that they talk to us as kids coming up. Mm -hmm. You look like the white man sitting at the top and using minorities against each other. And like the homie said, I don't think you've ever had anybody um, bleed to death in your arms. Um, I don't think that you've ever had to, have to answer to a five-year-old child when their daddy just died down the mm -hmm. block. I don't think that you've ever been to a funeral 
where mothers are crying over burying their sons and their daughters. But if you want to go, I'm going to take you this year so that you can see the relevance of what I'm telling you. And um, I'm not a dummy neither. So I know that poetic flaco, um, somebody that is not from this land, somebody that is not from this world, has been given free ring to post whatever he wants for some reason. Um, and I'm going to tell you something, bro. Like, Poetic Flaco, you lost your past too, my dog. I don't know who hired you here. I don't know who told you that it's okay for you to do that shit. But um, we abide by the laws of the street, my dog. So all that shit you're doing is not going to be tolerated. This, this ain't Chicago. This ain't New York. You are not academics. You are not gonna to do, you're not going to do to our streets what academics did to other communities. Because we're smarter than that, my dog. You feel me? And these bonds that we have are real. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And ain't no individual going to manipulate that. And that's why we're here. We're here with respect, diligence. We're here with class to just show and demonstrate like how serious it can get, dog. Because we are not, by any stretch of imagination, trying to take it. Adam said to me, Adam was like, yo, my boy, he, he working on elliptical right now. He said he, he did tell the editors to take it all out. They missed the part. He says now all the fans are acting like he aired as a boy out, which is you, on purpose. He said, "Listen, I'm." Uh, so I asked him. I said, "Listen, you can just hop on just audio. You don't even gotta be on video." He said, "I'm not really trying to make it look like I'm enjoying this." He says, "This is really super shitty, and I feel terrible. I caused it." He says, "Although to be honest, she called him out on the IG real post before that podcast came out, but fans didn't see it." That's the thing I would say, Adam, this is where you fuck up. Message. If she's calling out your employee before you interview her, why interview her? I get it. Like, like it's, it's different. You know, I don't know how much stuff you guys do live. If it's, if it's like some shit that she sprung on y'all live or like it was just whatever, cool. But like, if y'all saying that she was saying this stuff before... She even got there. Why even do it? It because does matter that the platform that it came from and the person who owns that platform, they should be the first to clear it up. You're on the front line. Message. Because put it like this. Again, however you were going to address it, if it ever became public, you're now thrusted into a twist stream. We got 20,000 people watching right now. That's and crazy. they're going to ask that. you questions about, oh, so what is this sexual orientation? That shit should have been quelled or that shit should have been mitigated to at least give you some time to have some headroom to kind of level out and be like, yo, how I'm going to deal with this before you have to be thrusted in this. But that's not what it is. I, I have a line that I draw as far as like my personal life and personal shit, bro. I nigga, I spoke. I spoke on the situation with my mother from the day she got sick to the day she passed away. Every fucking week on this fucking show, my nigga. Every part of my fucking life is not about to be broadcasted on this show, bro. So no, what? The, why the fuck would I bring this up about some random ass shit that happened some fucking three, four years ago? Why? Why would I bring that up? For what? Hey, hey, hey by the way, I, I want to give you credit because um, also for every, everybody, you know, listen. For everybody who's been following me for a long time, I think I'm in my 30s now, bro. Okay, I, I know we still give it up like we 16, but I'm in my 30s now, bro. And, you know, I tell you, I see everything. Um, I knew about, you know, the whole thing with, with your mom. Yeah, and, you know, that's the reason why I wanted to address this a little bit different because, you know, it's not everything is just jokey joke time. You know what I mean? When people been going through a hard time, like we all live in life. And life don't work out, and life ain't fair. It don't work out the same for everybody. So um, just kind of watching how, you know, I feel like you're thrusted in this position where now people want answers from you. Because that's not what's going to that's, – that's the biggest thing, right? People are not like, oh, well, we want to know all the information. My nephew. That is your son. And I ain't seen him since he was four. Yeah, yeah for And real. I beat a bitch up, and it was what it was. <laughs> Hey, relax, bro. I hey, not for for a See, it's sensitive. Out of pocket, bro. Uh, I want to bring up. You gotta be Fuck fucked up. up. <laughs> <laughs> He's making it so yeah, much right. more. Like, bro, it made it different. And the insensitive shit that you just said about House Fun's dad. You, you said, <laughs> what said the fuck? you said he beat up a bitch. You talking about his mom? I know, and I realized that. <laughs>
That is that's, yeah, nigga. So yo, if you uh, just said fuck it, I would just go at it. Fuck this nigga, cuz. Yeah, then I start just just looking at him overall, and I'm like, where did he come from? Like, when did he even start like getting into hip hop, bro? And I'm like, he's not even from LA. Uh, he ain't really interviewing LA artists at this time. He wasn't interviewing nobody, bro. It, it was just a lot of sh- it. It was so much shit. And then the internet didn't make it no better, cause everybody sending me shit. They sending me clips of videos. Like he saying this, he said that. Okay, so. I just want to know, you was that hot. No to, you was like, I'm finna show up, and we got a squabble. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, so why, why, why he got to be the YouTuber now? I mean, the podcast host now, bro. If he want, it's like if he want to speak on certain shit and involve himself in certain shit and act a certain way, then why he got to be like bigger than the program? Oh, now he's a podcaster or he's this. He don't have to do this. So yeah, bro. Like, I mean. I won't be inside the premises. Niggas be happy. You know what I'm saying? Delegate 22! I'm just telling you, bro. I went home and did some research after our lot last podcast mm. when I was trying to figure out who Andrew Tate was mm-hmm. and mm. get to the bottom of things. And what'd you find? I got some information. Message. Okay, let's hear it. They was getting at this nigga. They was getting. At, they was getting at Joe bad. I don't see none of that. I do. NPCs. I don't know what that is, but I got <laughs> bots and NPCs. In, in, NPCs. Like when niggas that start just coming from a whole nother side of the town come over and start preaching that shit. I told Adam that yesterday on AMP. All you little white boy scumbag niggas that's in your audience, we sophisticated on my side. You keep them little dirty, dusty ass niggas over there <laughs> in your little biker gang. All right? Over here, have some class when you bring your opinions. I told him that. Andrew Tate. This is what I've learned about Andrew Tate. More incels too. More of these, uh, more of these NPCs out here, right? Message. You know, he said that the reason he said that was because of you made a joke about the right track, and I was like, nigga, I told Adam about a male strip club called the right track, and he joked and said that I used to That's work such there. Such a lie. He knows that you didn't fucking work there. That was me publicly expressing my fantasy. About the fact that I wish you were a stripper. Yeah, that's but that but you know when I <laughs> pause, can we can we say it there? <laughs> it's like this is this is, <laughs> you'll get used to it. He just does this. He does it. But you know when I when I said that he didn't he didn't he didn't argue. He didn't do nothing crazy. He said my bad. He said he'll take the video down and he shouldn't have did that. It's all up. But you see the pattern where it's like the same exact thing where he like showed up at the at the office wigging out, acting like he's some crazy ass dude. And then as soon as you pull up outside, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, AD. I, I be tripping. I have been making mistakes. I'm still new at this. It's like the same exact thing. He goes out. He makes all these videos saying that you were a stripper. And then as soon as you say something about it to him, he's like, oh, I, I, I was confused. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was thinking that Adam was, was I, being serious when he was trolling. I just think that everybody, we all get caught up in this fucking YouTube clout war and all that. We all do that shit. And you know, when he was saying that, if he honestly believed that he heard that and he said that, that's that's cool. If he he apologized for it, he said he wasn't going, you what he wasn't going, he was going to take it down. I ain't got no problem with him no more. You ain't going to hear me say nothing bad about the nigga. I ain't making no videos about the nigga. As far as I know, he cool with me. I'm cool with him now. Now the next question is. How are do you, you down? Yeah. yeah. Are you down to reconcile with him at any point? And I think you should. Nah. This shit ain't. Listen, Adam. This shit is not that serious when you really break down to it. And I get 
how he he, he probably makes more videos about you than anybody <laughs> ever. I get it. Occasionally, but. I see a thumbnail. <laughs> he, here, I don't click. A, I don't click. I think like with with AD, you were probably the most upset because you felt like you had extended yourself for that dude and tried to be cool and, and been neutral in situations. And that was the only reason why, because I'm like, damn, like I stayed out of it. And I still got put in it. You stayed out of character. it when he was doing the most custer ass shit imaginable. When he fucking uh, basically like completely lied and misrepresented what happened at the office and misrepresented the conversation that you and him had, and you pretty much like just totally gave him a pass on that and didn't really like f like get angry about the fact that he was totally I mean, misrepresenting that encounter. Well, from day one, Smack had, has always spoke highly on him. Smack is my guy. Smack And Smack is actually the one who put all that stuff together because let's be real, he says some shit to T-Rail that to me was unforgivable. T-Rail says some shit to him that I, th I think was unforgivable. He says some shit. We all said some shit. But it's the exact same shit as the thing with the king of content where he's coming out making videos about him, sending around paperwork, doing everything and under the fucking sun. And then as soon as T-Rail brings it up to him, it's like, oh, yeah, I ain't doing that anymore. I ain't making videos about him anymore. I ain't sending out his paperwork anymore. It's like, do you stand on anything? See, but like how I look at everything is like, listen. They also from the same section. So he definitely like got a good advocate in you. But no, it's not, you're it's holding not, them down. But, no, it's but, not even about it's not even about being no advocate. It's about at the end of the day, bro. There's so many other battles that we can be fighting. And, and like honestly, in my life right now, I don't have the time to be sitting there mad at nobody on YouTube and getting upset. And and I let I got too invested in the content that he was making about me to where I really got mad. That was going, you know what I'm saying? Turn to some other shit, you know what I'm saying? Potentially that I don't need to be doing no shit like that. So if a man can sit there and tell me my bad. And he means that, and it is what it is. Then guess what? I'm I respect that shit. Let's move on and keep I, it pushing. I, I that don't like mean that we gotta be best friends. That don't mean that we gotta hang or film content or do anything. He's not coming to the penis houses. <laughs> <laughs> Adam wants all these people to fight when he will not catch a single fade himself. <laughs> Straight comment. You fight me. I'm ready to squabble at any time. Mm. I'm not gonna go through the pains of fighting someone in a boxing I ring told you to, fight to get Vlad. street cred. You and Vlad. See, this is what's up. You guys are always pitting white people against each other. You always pitting black people against each other. No. Nah. He caught himself. He knew he was lying. He could not say that shit with a straight face. He was like, mm. <laughs> my boy knows exactly what he's doing. He knows what gets the, he knows what gets the views. He's not stupid. My my boy Adam is a businessman. At the end of the day, I'm gonna say a single thing. Wait, this is my issue. Is you that guys act like you're fucking pretty. You don't talk shit. I'm honestly gonna knock you out. Please. Peace summit didn't work out that way. Now let me give you uh, some of the stats. The stats are bad, and then we'll talk about uh, white on white crime, uh, which is a real epidemic in America. Um, <laughs>